Hey everyone, Chris Goglin here doing a quick uh, Hearthstone unboxing video. T today that we've all been waited f waiting for is finally here. Uh, the Witchwood expansion has officially released, and after waiting about 15 minutes for my uh, <laughs> queue timer, I was able to get in, and uh, we're going to open some packs here in a minute, just like Christmas. Uh, my free legendary with this expansion was the Black Howl Gunspire. I'm not sure if that's uh, what everybody got, or if that's just a random one. Uh, it seems like an interesting card. Uh, of course, all my decks got converted to wild, so I'll have to spend the afternoon rebuilding some of those. Uh, whenever an opinion takes damage, deal three to a random enemy. Uh, that's not bad. Warrior certainly has plenty of ways to uh, to do damage to minions. Um, you know, between Whirlwind and the the Ghoul and stuff like that, Slam. So you could beat up your guy and. Uh, give him taunt, something like that, force them to attack him. You know, all kinds of options that you've got with this one, so that's pretty cool. Uh, got about 100 packs we're going to open here, 98. Uh, so let's see what kind of legendaries we get. I was looking through the... Oh, one of these is a oh for my Tavern Brawl this week. Yeah, we'll open that one first. Ooh, epic. Ah, Faceless Manipulator. That's another little bit of dust. Uh, speaking of which, I did get about 2,500 dust from the cards being moved to the Hall of Fame, so that'll certainly help with crafting uh, stuff here. See what the the first Witchwood pack we open gives us. <sighs> Nothing fancy, just a Blood Witch. I uh, looked through the spoiler list a little bit. Definitely uh, intrigued by the odd even legendaries. Um, Not quite sure, you know, how many decent cards there'll be to build decks based on just that kind of stuff. Uh, that's not bad. You could uh, build up your hand with a rogue. The echo mechanic is certainly interesting, as is the the new rush mechanic. Certainly love having ability to play a bunch of cheap murlocs. Uh, this is card is one that looked definitely looked really well. Uh, shown in the videos that the uh, Hearthstone guys have done uh, with some of the Swarm decks, the Paladin Swarm decks, and then giving them all plus one. Uh, you know, obviously it costs eight to get out, but there's a couple of guys uh, you could possibly play to make your weapons cheaper. And we got duplicates already. I fully expect I'll have a couple thousand dust after all this is done from duplicate rares. Uh, probably going to hold off on crafting anything right away until I, uh, you know, see exactly what's going on. Yeah, two rares. Yeah. So we're seven packs in. Still no epics, no legendary. Ah, spoke too soon. Whenever you draw a minion, add a copy of it to your hand. Cheap cost, mage, duplicate, and guys. Could be pretty good. And our first epic. Destroy your totems, gain plus two, plus two for each totem destroyed. Well, that's not bad. You could easily get, uh, by that by turn four, you could possibly have two totems in play, maybe. Uh, at least in standard, possibly more in wild. Alright, so based on the 90 or so packs that I'm going to open here, I, I think I'm going to get about four legendaries, unless I happen to get pretty lucky. Um, hey, a golden rare for holding a dragon, gain plus one, and rush. Hey. Not bad. Hey, epics. Destroy all their minions with two or less attack. It's a pretty good board clear. Uh, certainly help against some of the smaller rush decks. But at six, he might be a little late to the party. Uh, there's certainly some low cost, uh, low attack guys with taunt. Some of the two fours and two five guys with taunt. 1-6 with taunt, 0-9 oh, with taunt, so being able to take those guys out. Um, 
that's just going to get dusted. I'm not a big gold card guy. Uh, typically speaking, I usually dust most of them, unless it's something that I have less than two of. Um, being a free-to-play, or mostly free player, I did buy the pre-release, obviously get the 70 packs, cashed in uh, about 2,000 gold for another 20. And then, obviously, uh, the quests from last week got me four more packs, and then the three they gave us here to start with. So that was 97. So we're 20 packs in. Another epic, another one of those Totem Crunch guys. Shaman was certainly a deck that uh, kind of died out a little bit the uh, t last couple of months, so be interesting to see if it can make a comeback. Morgan Abomination. Deal two damage to all other damaged minions. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Certainly plenty of ways to use that or combo that. Lady in white, cast inner fire on every minion in your deck. That is a pretty good card. Uh, Priest certainly has a lot of guys that have unbalanced attack health ratios. So being able to do that on turn six uh, or five with a coin uh, could certainly really boost a lot of cards in your deck. Especially looking at some of the stuff in this set too. So there's some more a lot of these unbalanced guys. So evening out every single minion in your deck could definitely give your guys a big boost. Destroy all secrets. That's always always a good thing and should certainly be popular. Going into this uh, new expansion. So that was good that we pulled that legendary a little early. Uh, I think it's one every 30 packs. You're guaranteed one, and every time you hit one, it kind of resets your counter. Uh, so it's certainly possible opening the rest of these. I might get three more. Another work, a gold rare. And I got two gold into that guy. Not even a very cool animation, though. Give me something good. Hey, Shutterwalk. I was just watching the video where they were trying to use and loop him. Uh, certainly could give quite a big boost to shamans. Uh, but that's another legendary. So now we've hit three in our first 36 packs. So that's pretty good. I got 60 packs left, so I'll definitely get two more. If uh, if I'm remembering that right, I believe it's one in every 30. Yay, epics! After opponent plays three cards in a turn, summon a 6-6 six, six rat. Low-cost trap, that could certainly be interesting. Turn three or four, they coin two cards out or something. And suddenly you get a big 6-6 six, six on the table. Uh, you know, I'm sure most people won't do that against Hunter. They'll, you'll start to expect that maybe that's the trap they're playing with, but Hunter's got a lot of traps, and they all cost two. So Freezing Trap, Explosive Trap, the Wandering Monster. There's certainly a number of things they would want to play. Double Rares. Looks like we had those guys already, so should be some more dust. Yay, epics. 
Death Rattle summon 2-2 two, two saplings. Yeah. Not great. I mean, it puts minions on the table for you, but at only a 4-4 four, four for an 8 cost. Not great. Not seeing a lot of high cost spells either. I was thinking maybe with the Spiteful Summoner, we'd have some new high cost spells to kind of further some of those decks for different classes, but not seeing a lot of high cost spells. Witch's Cauldron. After a friendly minion dies, add a random shaman spell to your hand. This guy's pretty good. Three or more attack against taunt and lifesteal. Restore six health to all friendly characters. That's pretty cool, too. Uh, but here's a guy here, another priest guy. See, look at the disproportional stats. Being able to hit the lady in white, and now suddenly he's a five cost, eight, eight. I mean, yeah, he still has the game text issue where he can't attack while damaged, but you could certainly build an entire priest deck with unbalanced characters and golden epic and golden rare in the same pack. It's not even my birthday. Choose a friendly minion, shuffle a copy into your deck. That's pretty cool. Give you a second copy of a a useful legendary or an extra copy of a rare. All right, so we're about just over halfway there. So far, so good. Then comes the fun part where we get to, oh, hey. not bad. Definitely been enjoying the uh, distribution I've been getting so far. I know with uh, the last expansion, I think I opened, you know, 60, 70 packs, and uh, I think I only got like three epics. I got one, two legendaries and three epics, and that was it. Um, so this definitely seems to be going a little better for me. This is a card I really like too. Give a minion plus one plus two, and uh, it's got echo. Luckily, I don't think Paladin has any way to make their spells cheaper. Otherwise, that would just get crazy. <sighs> Poisonous with Rush. Yay, epics. Oh, boo, epics. I don't know. Maybe there's, a, maybe there's a deck around that guy where you just, you know, flood the board and... Gold rare, okay. Friendly minion attacks, gain plus one. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, warrior card, too. So warrior certainly has... Lots of lower cost minions. Or a charge and things like that. So you can squeeze a couple guys out turn two, turn three, and then get that guy out on turn five. And yeah. Deal one damage to all minions. So there's uh, another warrior card. to do damage to minions to combo with the uh, the tower. There's another rat trap.
I feel like I opened my last legendary right around pack 60. So my math must be wrong. It must be one in every 40 packs. I thought it was 30. But I guess we'll find out in the next few packs here. Yeah, 50 dust. That's what you are. I've got three of that stupid tree now. Deal four damage to a minion. If it kills it, add a copy to your hand. That's not bad. Echo, Rush. You can get a couple cheap beasts out. There we go. Hagatha. Deal three damage to all minions. That's the new shaman card. That's pretty cool. I saw that in the uh, one of the live stream videos as well. Pre-release videos. They were playing the other day, playing the paladin against the, the shaman decks with the shutter walk. And... Alright, so I guess it was one in every 40. So now we'll need a little bit of luck if I'm going to get another one with only 19 packs. Uh, otherwise, I'll probably end up with one in about a week or so from doing quests and winning games to uh, buy a few more packs. There's another banker. So at least I got two of him now. Be curious to see too what the uh, new pre-constructed recipes might be for uh, for this expansion. Deadly arsenal. Reveal a weapon from your deck. Deal its attack to all minions. All minions, so it hits you too, but it could certainly be a good alternative for a uh, board clear. Warrior's got some pretty good attack cost and weapons. Uh, the Arcanite Reaper's a five, so if you just play two of those, or a Gore Howl, you know, do seven and just clear everything. Gives you another option other than just Brawl to rely on a, on a good board clear. Hey, Baku. That's what one of my friends just opened there. Uh, golden Rare. Three attack while damaged. That's not bad. Uh, warrior only, though. Which isn't bad either with all the uh, Warrior cards that seem to do damage to everything. Seven to go. Hey, all right. Replay every card from another class you've played this game. That's not bad. Target's chosen randomly. So if you steal a few cards, with uh, which Rogue certainly has a couple of different ways to do. Uh, replaying them all is pretty good. Uh, but targets chosen randomly is always uh, always a little always makes me a little nervous. Uh, choose a minion, death rattle, destroy the chosen minion. That's an interesting card. All right, so we pulled one with about five packs to go. So certainly, I didn't get either of the uh, odd even guys, but I'm certainly I'm sure I'll have enough. Uh, there's two more golden cards and a third of him, so that's gonna be some more dust. So yeah, so I'm sure I'll have enough dust to craft one of them if uh, either of those decks turns out to to really work. Um, 
last pack. Well, that was fun. Only took 20 minutes to open 90-something uh, packs. Uh, let's go to the collection here, and we'll dust a whole bunch of stuff. Let's just do this. Witchwood. Crafting. Disenchant extra cards. Yeah, 2,500. Yeah, three extra epics, 48 triples of rares, and a whole bunch of extra commons. Sixty-four hundred, nice. All right, so I think we got two of him. I know the animations are cool on some of these cards, but to be honest, I'd rather have the dust. That's one of the things of being a free, well, I can't sell myself free, I did buy the pre-release, but, you know, mostly a free-based player is that you have to make little sacrifices along the way, and, uh, yeah, we got two of those. And disenchanting golden cards is certainly a way to go. And you just pickpocket, add a couple cards from your opponent's hand with some rush, or uh, echo, rather, and then test later in the game, could be interesting. So we got two of those. So I don't need that. There's a hundred more. And we got plenty of them. I can disenchant that guy. I know, I'm sure there's people watching right now who are just like, oh my god, he's the he's getting rid of all the cool gold cards. Yeah. Ooh. In this case we're gonna have to keep this one because I didn't get two. And I know what you're thinking. I could disenchant the gold one and then craft the regular one. But I'm sure I'll probably pull another one of these in a pack sometime in the near future. So we'll just do that then and get the free dust down the road. Warpath. This Hulk guy's got two. I mean, that's cool. It's not great, but... One banker, so we're not getting rid of that. We did get two of him. I got two scale worms. Get rid of that one. Maybe we get to uh, 7,500, 8,000 dust when this is all done. Which will definitely be good. That's you know, it's four legendaries and a couple of epics. No, oh, I guess not. Let's just go back through, make sure I didn't miss any. It does not look like it. All right, so uh, looks like we'll uh, get crafting some decks here and uh, test out this brand new expansion. Thanks for watching the video and the pack openings, and I uh, look forward to seeing uh, some of your guys' videos uh, and see what kind of polls you guys get. Have a great day.